All right, so I am a uh, principal solutions architect with uh, the Amazon EC2 service team. Yep. Uh, I help customers with optimizing and running workloads that are accelerated on AWS, GPUs, uh, ASICs, and um, FPGAs. Yeah, I mean, one of the key things that customers have asked for is access to world-class supercomputing in the cloud, right? right? And our answer to that has been EC2 Ultra Clusters. That's sort of been our access into being able to have access to an on-demand world-class computer. Yep. Our first example of this is with P4D instances, AWS P4D instances, and that features the eight uh, A100s These the are single baseboard, correct. Big boxes, right? Oh yeah. So you got a bunch of, you got a bunch of fast Intel CPUs and an awful lot of GPU boards in there, and that's then of correct. course awful, an awful lot of network bandwidth coming out the back. That's correct, 400 gigabit. 400 gigabits, yes. and that's four 100 gigabit 400. rails, right? That's correct, yeah. And so the EFA spreads over all of those. Mm -hmm. one, of the things that, one of the things that that four by 100 gigabit networking gives us is the ability to have first fast access to file storage. So FSX sits as part of that layer oh, in, right. the, in, in the supercomputing. So what we've done is we put FSX and our P4D instances close together in the data center so that you have fast access to both the file store and the and the compute. And that makes sense because if you're using a bunch of P4Ds to do like, I don't know, model training, yeah. you're going to be soaking up like a sponge, massive amount of data coming in from FSX Luster. That's correct. Got it. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. And then the other key component is our implementation of Elastic Fabric Adapter with EFA. So EFA with our 400 gig networking then gives us the ability to actually scalably address the ability to actually um, utilize that full bandwidth for uh, collective communication. So right. the nickel layer using EFA, and nickel is uh, the NVIDIA communication library that many of the ML frameworks use. MPI for machine learning. Yeah, MPI right. for machine learning. Yeah, that's another way of putting it. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, that, it, it, SRD, which is the thing inside EFA, is awesome at flooding a network and really yes. saturating it. But right. now, remember, we're doing that four times. Yeah. Because each EFA device is now flooding the, each yeah. of them. Which is why we've got to yeah. have petabits of networking in the back in that, in that fabric. In that. Coolest, newest thing is GPU Direct RDMA. Yes. Right? That's our coolest, newest thing in EFA. Mm -hmm. Explain what that is. Okay. And more to the point, then explain what it, how it works. Okay. Yeah. So GPU Direct RDMA, there's different flavors of GPU Direct RDMA in the community. You can do it over uh, IB, you can do it over traditional Ethernet. Yep. Um, on AWS with EFA, it makes a natural fit in the sense that we have a low latency backplane with the SRD uh, um, packet spraying feature that we have. Yep. Um, what GPU Direct RDMA allows us to do is it gives us this ability to have DMA or tensors or data that sits on the GPU have a direct communica communication path to the other GPU on the other node, okay? Right. So if you imagine two nodes, right? You have eight GPUs on one node, eight GPUs on the other node, and you want these GPUs to talk to each other in a very low latent way with high performance bandwidth, we would use GPU direct over EFA. Right. And the way to do that is through this, through this implementation that we've and built. look, Ma, no CPUs involved. No so CPUs involved. The kernel's not involved, the CPU's not involved, yeah. it's all offloaded, right? They all offloaded, correct. Right. That's correct, yes. Okay. So, that, so what ends up happening more specifically is the DMA or the tensor from GPU zero uh, will, 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 will communicate over the NV switch, and we have a plugin called AWS OFI Nickel, and that plugin is the sort of secret sauce that connects EFA to our Nickel backplane or, or the NV switch and Nickel library so that all frameworks can use that and you don't have to change any code to take advantage of it because all that's in a layer beyond the ML framework. ML framework just cares about utilizing Nickel. Nickel yep. takes care of the rest with our plugin and all the, uh, the DMA will happen underneath uh, the frameworks. So no code changes required. Right. And, you're, and, and because you're focusing on accelerators, and accelerators, the, the thing in the world at the moment is all about, everything is about GPUs because it's all about machine learning. <laughs> yes. You're working with some of the largest customers in the world. Yes, yes. On some of the largest problems we've ever tried to work on. Yes. Machine learning is changing every last nook and cranny science. Oh, well, yeah. No doubt about it. No doubt. That's why I want to be like you. Every industry. Every industry touches machine learning nowadays, so, you know, this is where this, this, these, these platforms come into play. And that's why I want to be like you. Oh, you want to be like me? I want to be like Armour. You want to be like me? Okay. Everybody wants to be like Armour. I can assure you there's many people that want to be like you, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
If you learned something from this talk, then please consider giving us a like and subscribing to the channel so you can find out when more videos like this are available. And if there's an area you'd like to see us go deeper into, uh, don't hesitate to reach out and let us know. See you next time.